Hey guys, this is Yugu. Today I'll be reviewing the Multiberry skin. Let's get started. The first thing I noticed on the song selection screen was the fact that some of the text on the songs is completely unreadable. The blue background on the purple text is especially aggravating to read. The buttons on the bottom bar are simple, maybe even a bit too simple, but do their job nonetheless. The back button is unfortunately unanimated though. The ranking symbols are well made and easy to distinguish. The mods are well skinned and easy to read and understand, and Score V2 is skinned. There is a lot to say about the ranking screen, and unfortunately most of it is negative. First off, it takes the sort of simple theme the song selection screen had and breaks its arms and legs, leaving it to die slow, painful, excruciating torturous death, making it wish it had never been born so as to avoid this awful, tormenting pain. The background not only makes some of the score markers almost impossible to read, but it also doesn't fit the entire screen, with the little empty bars of space at the top and bottom. The font for the text is nice though, and is easily readable, making up for the poor color choices. The ranking symbols are kind of boring, and are quite small as well contrasting the cool and interesting looking symbols on the song selection screen. The restart strangely breaks away from the berry color scheme though, with the yellow arrows seeming out of place. The applause sound has been replaced with a far too long menu song, and gets a little monotonous after a little bit of playing with the skin. The gameplay is... interesting. The first thing that shows itself is the combo color's impressive ability to stand out without being a strain on the eyes. The slider border color blends with all the combo colors very well and doesn't feel out of place at all. The slider tick marks are unfortunately not present, making it a tad difficult to read sliders. The circles have a solid look, becoming more transparent towards the top left. The outer circle isn't completely white, and instead is slightly tinted by the combo color. If the Skinner had picked one aesthetic and dropped the other, either case would have been a pro. But with both of them being present, the circles start to blend with each other, making circle stacks hard to read. The text for the combo and score is in the same easy to read font from before, making it easy to take a quick glance at either without risking missing. Speaking of missing, the hit markers. The hit markers are easy to tell apart and have the same popping aesthetic the combo colors have. They're just large enough to see easily, but just small enough to not distract from gameplay. The cursor doesn't get lost easily due to its white center, and stands out without feeling out of place. The pause and fail screens have the same berry background from before, but on the fail screen it's been made to be black and white. The buttons have a stoplight theme that stands out well without feeling out of place. The fail music is generic and even a little unsettling, and it makes you feel more anxious than calm. The spinner feels nice and smooth, and is fun to complete. For the song selection screen, I'll give the skin a 3 out of 5. The only big problem I had with the screen was the almost unreadable text on the songs, and that in itself is a big problem. For the ranking screen, a 2 out of 5. The entire screen felt like an afterthought, and little effort seemed exerted on this part of the skin. For the gameplay, another 3 out of 5. The circles were easy to read when spaced out, but it became increasingly difficult to read as the circles became closer together, not to mention the unpresent slider ticks. Overall, this skin gets a 3 out of 5, and I'd rate it a fancy skin. I really want some berries now. 